LSD was first synthesized in 1938 by Albert Huffman. He obtained ergot, a substance produced by a parasitic fungus, which infects rye and wheat. Huffman began to combine lysergic acid with other compounds. The resulting substance was D-lysergic acid diethylamide, known as LSD. He accidentally absorbed a small amount of the drug through his fingertips. Huffman described the effects as remarkable restlessness, combined with slight dizziness and an extreme stimulation of imagination, which was a dreamlike state. He was the first person to take a trip on LSD. The drug's popularity reached new heights in the 1960s. It was then made illegal in 1967, which greatly hindered the research of the psychedelic substance. The drug works by mimicking serotonin and binds to the serotonin receptor site in the brain. It has a high affinity for the 5-HT receptor, in which it binds to at a certain angle, with the receptor creating a cap shape. This traps the LSD, causing constant stimulation. It is this constant stimulation which is believed to cause the visual hallucinations. LSD is highly potent, for example, 25 micrograms, which is equivalent to about a few grain of salt, is capable of producing vivid hallucinations. Taking this into consideration, LSD is non-toxic and non-addictive. The medium lethal dose, where 50% of humans would die upon consumption, has never been reached, making it much safer when compared with other illegal substances. An LSD trip may be experienced either as a mystical and spiritual enlightenment or a disturbing and frightening nightmare. The trip can depend on the individual's personality, expectations and previous drug experiences, as well as the physical and social settings. However, even in the best circumstances, you cannot predict what kind of trip LSD would take you on. Flashbacks are also associated with LSD users. This can make the person feel like they are experiencing the high all over again. If these flashback episodes become a regular occurrence, then the sufferer may have persisting perception disorder. However, the prevalence of this disorder are considerably low when comparing to the large number of LSD users that are unaffected by it. Clinical research on the drug has made a slow comeback. An organisation such as MAPS has been promoting new research on the potential psychotherapeutic applications, especially those suffering from depression and PTSD. Research has been done on LSD and its effects on consciousness. The effects of the drugs are said to elevate the level of consciousness suggesting that this is the reason why some users have a profound experience and a loss of ego with an increase in connection with themselves and others when taking the drug. However, research is very limited due to the legality of the drug and it seems highly unlikely that LSD will enter the mainstream psychiatric practice anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.